Hey guys, I'm here with my, my friend Pedro at his school in Orlando. Um, so he's been gracious, gracious enough to host me. Um, so I've been working a few details with the takedown. I know a few weeks ago I did how to do like a basic wrestling shot. So today I'm gonna add a few details as far as like how to do a penetration step, okay? So in my last video, I just did the basic wrestling step and that's how I would show it to a new beginner. I wouldn't add like any more details off outside of that because it's kind of complicated. And if you're not very coordinated, you know, you got a lot of white belts, new beginners. I just, I'm happy if they get the move down the first time. I don't want to complicate it from the start. Um, so this time I'm gonna have Pedro help me too um, because it works better with a partner. So just to review without Pedro, I'm gonna go over the steps that we did before. So with my wrestling shot, it's really important. I need to change my level because a lot of jujitsu people, they when they go for takedowns, they always crash their knee, boom, into the mat, and they lose all their force because they're hitting just the floor. That would be the same as if you were skipping a rock and you just threw the rock into the water versus if you skip it, it should be at, a, at an angle, right? If you want it to go very far. So just the basics of the wrestling shot without the penetration step. I'm gonna change my level. So that means I bring my hips down as low as I can, all right guys? As low as you can, whatever feels comfortable. And from here, I don't wanna lean backwards. I always wanna lean forward, pushing, driving with my back foot into the mat. I'm gonna pick my ankle up as I drive forward with my knee to the, to the floor, boom. And I like to engage my hip and my core because right now you see how I'm kind of hunched over a little bit. I like to pop my hips, open my, my body. You can see how my back is straight, my hips keeping my, my back straight. And this is just gonna make me stronger versus if I'm hunched over, my back's down, that's when the guy's gonna sprawl on you, okay? So from here, my back is tall, and now I drive my, my back leg in front. And I always like to spring to the opposite side of this leg, okay? Because I, I don't wanna keep continuing this motion because I'm gonna fall down. I'm gonna bring this leg up and I spring opposite. And that's how you would drive into the, the double leg, okay? Um, so I'm gonna work with Pedro a little bit with the, that penetration stuff. And maybe I'll have Pedro try it too. So with my footwork, I'm gonna do the same footwork, but that penetration step, that's how I get in closer to Pedro. I need to close that distance. So whenever I'm doing a shot, any type of takedown, guys, when I'm doing any type of takedown, I need to be close enough to touch my, my partner. And that's why in wrestling, you'll see the person faint, they'll push. That's, that's just a way of measuring the distance, okay? And so with penetration step, I'm gonna do that same footwork that I covered earlier, but I'm just gonna step forward a little bit when I go, okay? When I step forward, I'm gonna have Pedro turn this way now. We'll, we'll look at a different, few different angles. When I step forward, I'm trying to get my leg inside of his legs, you see? This way too. I wanna get my legs inside of his legs. That's what that penetration step is, okay guys? Just another way to close the distance, all right? If I shoot from here, I'm not gonna make it. And also you can move out of the way. So there's like this sweet spot, okay? Where I'm just far enough to shoot and the closer I get, the better it's gonna be, all right? So let's just look at that penetration step. I'm just gonna step forward and then I combine all the steps, all right guys? So again, make sure you can touch your, your partner. I'm gonna take a, a small step forward. But when I take that small step, I really don't wanna do like a split because now when I go to push off, I, I don't have any power. So it's a very, very like a stutter step. I'm just taking a little step and then I shoot, all right? So again, I'm close enough to touch my, my partner. In real life, I would try to get these arms out of the way. Again, I take a small step, that's my penetration step. The deeper you can get that step, the closer it is, the better it's gonna be. From here, I lower my level, I change my level. And look, I drive my knee towards the mat, pushing with my back leg, taking my ankle up, and I'm gonna drive my knee into the mat between his legs. Boom. From here, controlling his legs. Uh, let me turn the angle down. There we go. So I'm here, guys. This is a sweet spot. If you get here, you know you got it. So now that back leg comes up. And look, I'm gonna load it up. And then, remember, I wanna take him opposite, okay? If I keep pulling him this way, I'm gonna hurt myself, all right? Because I'm not very supportive here. So again, I load this leg up, and now I'm just gonna spring to the opposite side. Oh. And I'm gonna do the same move with explanations from different angles so you guys can see. Let's look at it from, from my back. So again, guys, I'm touching him. I, can, uh, I, I prefer going for the hands, shoulders, head, okay? So 
how to move them around. You can also use those as paints and setups. Okay, so I'm here. I take that stutter step, that little step forward, change my level, push off with my back leg, and drive my knee into the mat. Boom. Back leg comes up. And again, I spring opposite. Okay, one more time. So here, I can touch him, open him up. Again, I take a little step forward. Again, guys, how, wherever you feel comfortable, that's where you go. If you can get this close to the guy, you can do it too, okay? So again, I, will, I would kind of combine those two together. And sometimes you'll see that can just be a feint too, just moving and shifting low with your weight. That's enough to feint the guy, kind of get him to open up too. Boom, so I step, open, or I'll do it at the same time. From here, I change my level, driving my with my back leg. And that knee, I like to torpedo it into the mat, okay? Boom, and look how my body is straight. If I'm very crunched, uh, go ahead and sprawl, Pedro. I don't have a lot of power. He's gonna overpower me. I turn this way so they can see too. So what I was saying is if my hips aren't engaged, it's gonna be easy for him to sprawl. Sprawl. And now it's hard to come back up once he has a strong sprawl. So when I'm here, go ahead and sprawl. You see how it's very hard? Because I'm on this center of gravity. Again, guys, I bring that back leg up. And now I, I explode opposite, okay? Oh. All right, guys, so that's the wrestling step, the basic wrestling shot with the penetration step. Again, that penetration step goes right through the middle, all right? The deeper, the better. Once you get in, man, they can't stop you. All right, guys, give it a test. Let me know how it works.